This is my latest dream creation. This dream explores aspects of the dream world and how it changes the real life environment and how different things are in dreams compared to the real world. This dream involves really trippy things in the sky like seeing two moons and um, weird stuff in the sky and basically just things I've seen in my dreams so it's based off multiple dreams I've had but I've managed to put in it all in one level. You also have elements from Outlast like hiding in cupboards from NPCs and there is a uh, weird NPC that follows you and gets angry and you have to hide from later in the game. So yeah I'll go and get started with the level. As you can see here, this is based off the real version of my old house. So this isn't the dream version, this is meant to be the real version. So I'm showing this here to compare with it later, because you'll see how much weirder and surreal the dream version is of this house. Now this room is based off the real version of the living room wild house. So I'm showing this here to compare it again with the dream version you'll see later so you can really see the differences once you switch dimensions into the dream realm. Now we're into the dream. These people are meant to be people of your dream, so you can't quite make up their faces, their features. They're meant to be all blurred out, so, um... Right, so I need to find a red phone box to bring back for my dad. I don't remember there being a fourth cottage there, there was only ever three. It doesn't make sense, what could this mean? It must mean I'm dreaming, it must be. Yeah, this is a dream, it's gotta be. I need to have a look around and find out what's going on here. Now what you heard there was in-game dialogue that I did myself for the level. Um, as you see this version, this is the dream version of Wild House. So, it is a lot different than the real version, but it's very similar in most aspects. So, um, yeah, this is based off weird, surreal dream versions I've had of my old home. So, uh, sometimes when I dream of this place, it has, instead of three cottages, it has a fourth one at the end, which you can see here. And uh, this mysterious fourth one, you'll get to see later in the level, you'll get to see the inside of that. So, um, yeah, the dream version of the house is a bit different. It's got... Um, white paint instead of the yellow one and it's um, a lot bigger than the real one so yeah I'll carry on with the level
Now this is the dream version of the hallway of the house. It's a lot different from the real version. It has some surreal aspects and nightmarish paintings on the wall and um, a parallel colour on this other wall here. So uh, we're going to the dream version of the living room now. So the dream version of the living room is a lot different. It's uh, the paint on the wall is what it used to be when, when I remember from when I was a kid. So it's red paint, and uh, I have a lot of recurring dreams about a staircase in this fireplace that isn't there in real life. It's never been there in real life. It's just an aspect that occurs in my dreams most of the time, which is quite weird. So I thought I'd add that to the level. I also once had a dream about a secret room behind the wall with a mummy behind it. So we can go and see that here. That's like a weird dream version of a record playing. I thought I'd add that. So now let's go into the kitchen. to get out of this dream as soon as you can. Find a way to wake up. The voice coming through the phone is meant to be the player's subconscious telling them it's a dream. So now the player becomes somewhat lucid. But as you progress, you uh, the players start to lose lucidity so it becomes more dreamlike and weirder as you play along. So now let's go outside to the dream version of the garden and you might see some weird surreal dreamlike stuff in the sky. Now you would have noticed there's two moons in the sky. One of them is the moon, I think it's called waning. So that's the moon in that phase. But when you turn your head, you will come to a shock and realization that there's two moons in the sky. The reason why I put two moons in the sky is because in most dreams I have when I look up at the night sky, there's always more than one moon. And um, in a minute when I go to the end of the garden, you'll see a weird dream I have about looking in the sky when the moon moves about. and. Um, you see all other sorts of moons in the sky at the same time, which I also dream about. Now we we'll go to the end of the garden and gaze at the night sky.
now we're back round to the front of the house. We're going to the part of the house that doesn't exist in real life. That's the mysterious fourth cottage. another house here because there's always only been three cottages here not four there have always been four cottages here only you've never seen it because it's on a different plane of existence than yours you've never seen me but I've always seen you through the mirror. On my side of the mirror, I can see your reality sometimes. Now, as a friendly neighbor, I have always been your neighbor. I would like you to sit down and have a cup of tea with me. Uh, thanks for the offer, but I'm okay, thanks. I need to get going back to reality soon. I insist! Just sit down, and I'll get you something to eat, tea and drink. Yes, it was very nice, thank you. Now that you're here, I would like you to stay for the night. Could you stay for the night? Please, I insist. It would be the most neighborly thing to do, of course. <laughs> now then, go upstairs to your room in the attic. But there's one rule, just don't go in any other room, apart from the room I'm telling you, please. Because I like my privacy. Sheely loves her privacy. I will call you when dinner is ready. Off you go. I need to have a look in Sheely's bedroom. She's hiding something. I don't know what. I just have to be careful she doesn't see me. I have to be very quiet too. Now Sheely was based off weird dreams I have about weird neighbours that don't exist. And um, Sheely's part of the house is the fourth cottage that doesn't exist. But it's a cottage that I dream about which is attached to my old house. So these are weird dreamlike rooms which I've um, are very closely resemble dreams I've had. Uh, this next part is actually based off a real dream about I was in someone's house looking through stuff and in one of their drawers I found a picture of me as a kid in that drawer and I'm like how does this person have a picture of me as a kid in that drawer so yeah that's quite weird so I thought I'd include that in this level what the hell how has she got pictures of me as a kid in that drawer and why has she got them pictures in there? Don't even remember them being taken. Hey! Get down off the table, cat!
now we're in the guest room. Now this is the looting mechanic I come up with in Dreams. This is based off of dreams I've had where I'm going through drawers and finding loads of stuff I like, like collectible tweenies toys and uh, stuff from the 90s and I'm putting it in a bag to take it back with me. So I thought, I dreamed about this so why not add it in the actual Dreams level, so that's what I did. We have a Five Nights at Freddy's bunny here. Squeaky duck. And there's a woody Easter egg. There's nothing in the bottom drawer yet, but I plan on adding more loot to take. Here we've got a Furby. Sounds like the batteries have gone on this. So also interactive objects you can make fall down. This part of the level is based off of exploring uh, dreams about exploring corridors in my house that don't exist. And I find toys that I used to have years ago but have completely forgotten about. So, um, 
yeah, this is a secret part of the house. Uh, best pick up the loot bag if you want to take your loot with you. That's my loot bag picked up. So yeah, this is the hidden corridor with um, loads of old weird toys and objects that um, you've forgotten about in your childhood, but you'll remember when you see them. And yeah, that's the end of the level. This is an unseen cutscene of what would happen if Shidi catches you. I need to have a look in Shidi's bedroom. So yeah, that was the dream. Uh, thanks for watching and um, be sure to check it out in Dreams. It's called Stuck in a Dream, a Surreal First Person Adventure. Thanks for watching.